Hello, hello, hello. How are we all? Am I alive? Have I got sound? Are we working? Ring a ding. We are Holy Toledo. I see over on Twitter. Uh, twi Twitter. I see over on Twitch. I see uh, Jason Guthrie, uh, Aiden Groves. Is this further away? I can't read it. Harry's Nan, uh, Ben Enor, uh, Tom Potter, Olivia Rules, Harry's Nan. Hello, hello, hello. Stacey Lou, Lynn Mills, Amber Wakeling. Hello. Over on YouTube, who do I see? I see Robert Roberts. I see Duncan NH. Ryan Collects Coins. Charlie Marsh. Do you know that I have three toes? I did not know that. Well done to you, though. <laughs> Aiden Gross, Sporty Girl. Teague Bernice. Tez Hall. Aviation Media. Kean Regan. Remember it, Regan, not Reagan. Hello, Laughter. Hello, UK Army Cadet Captain Dunn. And I saw Dan's Temple Treasures. Stevie Robs notices the shirt. I bought another horrific live stream shirt. I couldn't help myself. This is a Discord special. I think the guys on um, <laughs> Discord helped me find this one. It's dreadful, isn't it? Isn't it not awful? But I love it. It's a Dan Temple special. That's what it is. <laughs> I agree with Laughter. Laughter beat me to the punchline of that one. But hello, hello, hello to you all. I hope you all had a fantastic week. Hello, Keza. Hello, Harry's Human. Aiden123, the best. Snapdragon, Wendy Fletcher, Jack Plastow. Plastow, Plastov. It is a little bit warm, but I must admit it's a little bit warm in this. Limmill says that Aussie is here. Hello to Aussie. The Tibetan Mastiff, is that Aussie? I'll be impressed if that's right. Hello, Olivia Rules. Um, hola to Katie Jones. Uh, it's called Year of the Planets shirt. Cause is it, yeah, <laughs> it's dreadful is what it is. It is absolutely diabolical. But there we go. And my hair. Oh man, oh man, do I need a haircut. It's like poking out the sides of the fairs. Oh my goodness. It's getting a little bit silly now. But it's got to be done. When Sunday arrives, says laughter. <laughs> Hello to Courtney and Minty and... Uh, coin pig going to use my phone today to keep an eye on Christopher Collects this week. Uh oh, what did I do last week? What did I do last week? Snazzy shirt, thank you very, very much. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it out, but for a live stream, of course. But before we get started, a massive thank you to everyone that has been so kind as to send their redesigned letter B's in. Holy Toledo, I had. A huge amount of entries. I can't remember how many. I'll, I'll show you in a moment once we're look, looking at the entrances. Um, as before, I will set up a straw poll in my first break after the first bag of coins so that you've got time to look at them and digest before you impulsively, impulsively vote for one. But who wants to see the pages of redesigned letters that I received? Who wants to see that? Ruby forgot, no worries. It was the letter B. So for those that weren't watching last week or the week before, we were de redesigning uh, different letters from the Alphabet 10P set. Uh, it was just something that isn't already on the coin. It's ideally something British, but I'm, I will bend the rules to let anyone. If you go to the links to design me a coin, I'm more than happy to include it. Uh, relax, sleep, meditate says, please can you say hello to Bus Bob? Hello to Bus Bob. I think everyone wants to see it. Everyone wants to see it. Right. Let's hop over to the B. Right. I'm still here. Is my audio still here, though? Is my audio still here? It looks like it is. So this is the first page, page numero uno. So you've got all the different numbers to the left of the letters of the of the redesigns. So we have B for Big Ben, B for Britannia, B for breakfast, B for brew, B for Bentley, B for, what was that? I can't remember now. I'm going to have to double check my notes. Uh, da, 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 oh, and they're a different order on this. Fantastic. I think it was banknotes, B for banknotes. Then we have B for Boris, B for, Bre uh, B for bangers and mash, uh, B for Bowie, B for Bourbon, B for Bee Gees, B for breakfast again, 
uh, B for Big Ben again, and then B for BBC. And that is the first page. If we move on to page number two, now if I press this button, it should go to page two. There we go. And number 15 is B for Bert from Trapdoor. Um, then we've got B for Birthday Cake, B for Buckingham Palace, B for Billy, Billy Connolly, Big Yin, B for British Airways, B for BBC again, B for Britain, B for Beethoven, B for Banksy. Why do I keep saying B for? I don't know why I keep saying B. They're all Bs. Then we have uh, Beef Eater. We have Bumblebee. We have Black Belt Bob. We may look familiar to some of you. Uh, B for Bungle. I'm saying B again. Then we've got BBC. And then the final page. We've got Bernardo's. We have got uh, British Gas. We've got uh, 31 is that side. Uh, is Bullock, Jeremy Bullock, the man inside the Boba Fett suit. Uh, although you can have Boba Fett, but Jeremy Bullock is a British actor. We then below me have B for Bowie again and B for Bungle. So you'll notice there are all the different uh, numbers in the corners. Let me point to this one so I can point to that one just there. Uh, so when I set up the straw poll in the first intermission, you will be able to go and vote for your favourite. But there are some absolutely stunning designs whoops and I've missed one that's page two and that's page one but in the intermission I've set it up so it should cycle between the three pictures so whilst I'm going washing my hands setting up the quote uh, quote setting up the vote system um, you should be able to cast your eyes over it and come to your decision as to which is your favorite now I did say if you guessed what I was what I was going to design you, it would be an instant win for you. Well, an instant prize for you, not an instant win. And I did try my best. <laughs> I did try my very, very best. I did B for Brian May. <laughs> he's got a bit of a wonky guitar. And he's got one sort of little, little arm. But there we go. B for Brian May. Guitarist from Queen. Which I've called, sort of snookered myself, because if I do the rest of the band Queen, everyone's going to be able to guess what it is. But there we go. That is about... He looks naked. I didn't actually draw any clothes on him, so... <laughs> that was That is probably the best picture I've ever drawn of anything. So, um... I, I, I will admit, I, I impressed myself somewhat. <laughs> but as ever <laughs> coins and more UK says your artwork never fails to amaze me oh good goodness but yeah who's who's Brian May Brian May is the guitarist from uh, the band Queen uh, but I won't be doing any other band members from Queen just to make sure that no one can just easily guess what I'm going to, what I'm going to do B for Queen no B for Brian May Bear Brian <laughs> scandalous <laughs> But yeah, my, I, I make no, I have no um, de delusions of grandiose. So I know my drawing skills are pretty, pretty pants. Um, but next week will be the letter C, C for cricket at the moment. If you want to redesign it to another letter, if you've got an idea of what the letter could be, if you draw it and then send it in to one of my social medias, be that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Discord. Uh, one person did email it to me and I did just about catch it. I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend doing it by email because my inbox gets absolutely spammed out. Um, but there we go. So yeah, I will uh, I will keep an eye out for the next for next week for the your letter C redesigns and I've got to think of something to redesign. Obviously the winner gets a little prize from me. If you manage to pick a design uh, that is identical to the one that I did you win an instant prize as well But I'm going to be trying to think a little bit outside the box on that too But we as I said we will return to the redesign letters in the intermission What we are here for then what we are here for is some uh, Coins so we'll start with 10 pieces. There's no two pounds today. Unfortunately, my bank couldn't grab me any two pound coins this week uh, So these are the right books aren't they? Yeah, so no two pounds today, but the two pounds are a the quickest bag generally so then what are we looking for this is the 2018 set uh, we are missing a and d i think the focus right goodness gracious um 
We're missing K and H. We are missing O for oak tree. And we've got the final panel all completed there. So it's only four to go, five to go on this one. That's going really good, isn't it? Coin 101 Hope says, love your shirt. Thank you very much. So you're not going to do a C for Christopher? Oh, well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, 2019, we've got E, G, F. We've got L, K, J, or J, I, I, and H. O, X, V, and T. So plenty more to get for 2019. I apologize for keep drinking. It is very, very warm in here. Not only is it hot, I've got my little, my, 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 little, my great big spotlight doodads on. Marketplace says, I promise I won't vote for myself. You can vote for yourself. If you go to the lengths to, to make me design, you are more than welcome to vote for yourself. We all know Christopher's going to be spammed by C for Christopher Collects. Well, there's not just Christopher Collects. There's Caledonian Coins. There's Coin Cupboard. Coins and More UK. Coins to Collect. Carrot Collects, I can see there. There's lots of Cs. Coin Pig. Lots of different Cs um, for Coin Tubers. Coin Tubers. Um, but no, the Bungle got two. Absolute Coins got one last week, so I've got to at least get two Christopher Collects. <laughs> but what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm getting distracted is what I'm doing. We will start with some 10Ps then. Wah. How do we afford the coin bags? I've got a bit of a float, so it's the same It's the same money, just different coins each week essentially. I keep the ones I want to keep and have to top up the float a little bit. But the vast majority um, is the same coins. Is not is the same money, but different coins. So I pay it in, pay it out, pay it in, pay it out, round and round and round. The Okie Dokie channel says, "Christopher, you rock." Thank you very much. Whoops. I designed C for Coin Tuber Community, a great place to be involved with. Exactly, Stevie Rob. Should we have a, before I get into these bags, should we flip through the, letter, the letters once more just for the late arrivers? So these are the uh, redesigns of the Alphabet 10 piece. Thank you very much, Sam, for your super chat. Um, we'll quickly whiz through these once more. We won't go, I won't labor it and go through every single design, but that is page number uno. We will be back to the screenshot in the break, so you will have your chance to quote, to, to why well, do I keep saying quote? To vote, not quote. That was page number two, page number dos. Thank you very much, Ben. She likes the shirt as well. <laughs> and then the final page is this one here. There are some really stunning designs. Uh, I am. I was blown away as they were flying in last week. Um, very, very awesome designs. But like I said, we'll be back to that in the break. So it will shimmy through the different pages of designs, or at least it should. On paper, in principle, I set it up so it should, but I've set it up, so I am definitely no Bill Gates, so it could all go terribly, terribly wrong. Um, let's take my watch off. Favourite colour? Favourite colour is purple. Whoops. Coin101 Hope did a design for his own channel and kept it. Very cool. Where's the link to vote? The link to vote isn't going to be up until the first break. So when I come back from the first break, I will, excuse me, I will set it up and you can vote from then. Well, I think the idea is you get a bit, a bit of time to digest the designs before you get to vote for it. Got every colour that you can imagine tonight. I do, don't I just look at this shirt? How dreadful is it? <laughs> I love it, it's so bad. Hello to Sean, thank you for tuning in. But how's everyone else's week been? Have you been lucky finding some coins? Are you getting a bit a doodle alley from lockdown? I was back to work last week, so everything back to normality for me. Any coin news? Uh, Captain Cook's here, and they sent it out as an with an error as well. I haven't emptied my bin, so the bags are going on the floor at the moment. So that'll be fun cleaning them up. Do 
for an edge hunt. Let's get a bit further into the bag before we do an edge hunt. One more Shane hasn't seen a coin in eight weeks. Well, here's a whole handful for you to see. But I know I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's it's um tough at the moment for everyone. But restrictions are lifting somewhat. But I feel the live stream's a little bit of a break from the whole situation in the world. Um and people are, I know a lot of people come here as a sort of a whoopsie as a break from the news and all that stuff so we'll leave it at that we'll leave the conversation about that at that Katie Jones has been lucky receiving coins in the post yes we shall see at the end of the video show, at the end of the stream don't you worry yes and yes there's coin pig <laughs> I forgot what the question was <laughs> it's been a long day I got up really early today um, I just woke up stupidly early it wasn't even that an early of a night the night before either Canadian Ryan, thank you very, very much. Super chatting. Uh, very kind of you with a little pair. What does it say? First bump. First. Oh, fist bump. Not first bump. Come on, Christopher. Come on, Christopher. Uh, Stacey Lee says, last few days I've, be I've been really unwell. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope you're feeling better soon. Back to Earth on the 15th of June. We'll have been off for three months. Thank goodness. Can't wait. I know. I had a... When I had my week off um, holiday, that was the closest I've come to a week's isolation. I was crawling the walls by the end of it. And that's with all my YouTube videos and stuff to keep keep myself occupied. But I was definitely going a bit doolally by the end of it. Uh, Harry is a human says, I'm planning to do my first big coin hunt soon. I'm going to do 50 pounds, 50 peas, 100 coins and 15 pounds of mixed world coins, doing it all out of my saved money. Uh, I'm probably one of the youngest collectors here. Awesome. Well, I wish you good luck in your videos. Send me a link and I will have a look. I can't promise I'll watch every single video that you make. It's tricky enough to do that as it is. There's so many awesome guys making the videos. A few days ago, my great aunt got me the B for Bond, and now I only need A and T. Happy days, says George Dog. Very cool. Did you wake up and find out someone has been sick on your shirt? <laughs> uh, I feel like the bad shirts are becoming a bit of a thing of the live stream. The dodgy hats, the bad shirts, and I think this is a late night on Discord. This shirt just popped up in my so on my social media feed. I thought that is such a horrific shirt. Such an horrific shirt, I've got to get it. It's not going to be a daily wear, but um, <laughs> I thought it was, it would be perfect for a live stream. Uh, Stacey Lou likes the shirt. Thank you very much, Stacey. Again, I wouldn't, it's not something I would wear out and about if I'm being totally honest, but. Destiny Luke 123 says, Can I maybe buy some swaps off of you? I don't sell any coins. I'm not a sort of coin um, uh, s salesperson, distributor. I am purely a collector. But there's lots of places you can swap, you can trade. Uh, over on Chainstrike, I've got a swap shop. There's bazillions of groups on Facebook. You can do swap shots. UK Coin Hunt, fellow coin tuber, has his own website. He sells duplicate coins. Dan's Temple Treasures says they're not bad shirts, Christopher. <laughs> agreed, Dan, agreed. They are phenomenal shirts. You'd never get run over wearing one of these shirts, would you? <laughs> I feel the shirt came from a Katy Perry MV. Katy Perry MV. I know who Katy Perry is. She's a singer. MV. Music video? I'm watching whilst making a design for the letter C, says Harry is a human. Very cool. I look forward to seeing them. Obviously, don't tell me what your designs are going to be, because, like I said, if you pick the same design as I do, you win an instant prize. And I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do. Still undecided what the letter C is going to be. It's the one I've been banging on about, the one I've redesigned for ages. But I can't use any of the designs that I've suggested in previous Q&As, I guess, but I'll give it away. Uh, Stevie Rob says, A workmate was threatening with vo was threatening with violence one time and spat at another. Sad times. Goodness gracious. 
that's not good. Not good at all. Especially those of us that are still working, we're doing essential work. Or we're deemed as key workers, so to do that to uh, people that are having to work through this sort of situation is pretty loathsome, I'll be honest. But anyway, like I said, we're, we're going to leave talk about that whole situation at the door. I am sure, uh, like me, the rest of you have had quite enough of the news about it. So we'll have a couple of hours of reprieve from uh, six from the world. <laughs> Christopher, do you trade shirts? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these shirts because they're really good for like one use uh, for a once on a weekly live stream. I should bring them all down to the Royal Mint and just do like a quick change act. <laughs> Hello, the coin collector 182. Thanks for tuning in. I don't know about Christopher Collect. It might dazzle a normal person. <laughs> Heather Ella says, Hi, my daughter is number 12. Bangers and mash, not breakfast. Oh, my apologies. Bangers and mash, not breakfast. Night out theme at the mint. Yes. Christopher collects uh, rubbish shirts. I can think of another C, a word being with C that could, that could uh, substitute for rubbish. So you got a perfect alliteration there, but we don't have Bungle on tonight, so there's no one here to say that. Holy Toledo. Thank you very much to Laura for joining the um, hunt over on Twitch. Easy to get rare coins in your change at the Royal Mint. Well, the, some of the alphabet ones, yeah, and the new ones. Paint the H's of Helipad, yeah. <laughs> That's what uh, Absolute Coins rumbled me in my occupation he called it straight off i'm the person that paints the h on top of buildings he's the one who guessed it first points to mr absolute coins gsa wolf coins had to put his sunglasses on <laughs> oh dear just had some really bad news there was a fight at my local fish and chip shop two fish were battered Goodness gracious. I like it. I like it. It's a great joke, Ben. It's a great joke. Legend has it that Christopher's son that name is Roger. <laughs> oh, dearie dear. I like that you guys have got these ongoing jokes that come up week in, week out. It's good fun. It's good fun. You can tell the regulars. You can't tell them much, but you can tell them. <laughs> Do I have any pets? Yep, I've got a cat called Wedge. And without Star Wars, who is your favourite superhero? Holy Toledo. Uh, oh, Canadian Ryan's joined the, joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much, Canadian Ryan. Um, what was I saying? My favourite superhero. Um, I don't know. It was always Batman, but the whole new Justice League Batman and... There's a bit. Mm. I like the Tim Burton Batman's. They've got the, the Batman's never been better. The um, the the the, the new trilogy. Who's the, the was it? Christopher Nolan that did that trilogy. They were okay, but the Tim Burton ones were superb. It captured that sort of comic bookiness of the character. It wasn't like hyper ultra realism. But I don't know. I've got, I, I liked a few of the Avengers, the Marvel films. I've kind of given up on the new Marvel films. There's way too many of them to watch. Try and keep up to date. Not just the films, but the TV shows. I still haven't seen Endgame, um, part one or part two. There's just it's an oversaturated market of Marvel stuff at the moment. Double streaming. Didn't realize you're on Twitch. That's I am very true. Hola to Caledonian coins. Yum yum. Time for a quick snack. Thanks for tuning in, Cali. I hope you're having a Productive day at work. Can you believe it's already Sunday? At least tomorrow is bank holiday. Bank holiday Monday. We get an extra day's holiday. Extra day of the weekend. But um, no, tomorrow I'm editing the whole collection video with a view. Now, no promises. No promises here. With a view to have the whole collection video. I think my footage that I recorded prior to it runs out this week. So, with a view to the whole collection video going up on Thursday, 
I still no idea how long the video is going to be, but it is going to be a bit of a mammoth watch. So I don't expect everyone to watch every moment of it, but I plan in the description to break it down into the chunks. So if you're only interested in 50p's, if you're only interested in five pound coins, only interested in the little oddities box that I've built up, uh, there'll be timestamps so you can skip to and from the relevant parts that you want to see. And it's half time. Oh, of course it is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, George Dog 29 says, hello, do you read me? I can't see my comments. I can see your comments. In case James wish me good luck. I might even spend the day in the Discord voice chat whilst I'm editing it. So if anyone is around tomorrow, hop over onto Discord. If you want to keep me company whilst I'm trying not to go totally do lally. Where can I please get a list for the different commemorative coins? Love your videos, says Bev. Uh, Bev, my recommendation is go over to Change Checker. They've got to find the coin app. Uh, they've got all the coins on there and it's very, very useful. But they also do get, um, they have they really scarcity indexes, the little triangles where the rarest ones are on top going down to the more common ones. Um, they're screenshots I used to keep on my phone until I learned what was rare and what wasn't rare. So you can go no, you can do no better than change checker for circulating UK coins. Uh, if you're looking for more than just UK coins, maybe in territories stuff like that, uh, change checker has some of that. But um, new Mister is a really good shout as well. Uh, why did the baker get arrested? Because he whipped the cream and beat the eggs. Oh dear, Pokey Phil, that is dreadful. That is an awful joke. <laughs> but it's a silly pun, so it's great. So well done. What's the best way to start collecting coins? Look out for the coins in your change. If you've got a, a money bank, have a look through that. Tell your friends, your family, other students, or whatever it is, work colleagues, that you're collecting coins and they, they might keep their eyes open for you as well. I've been trying one about yoga, but it isn't working out. I know it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Deary me. Deary me. Oh, Caledonian Coins is back. When am I revealing the cat? The cat's been in a couple of videos, to be fair. He's made a guest star appearance, and there's pictures of him up on Instagram as well. He decided to be an absolute pain whilst I was recording my world coin hunt. He sat just there whilst I was videoing in this sort of area. I kept having to tap his foot out of the way because it kept coming into shot. And he made a guest appearance in the Thomas Cook. Thomas Cook, not Thomas Cook. Um... Captain Cook, Thomas Cook, what am I about? Um, in the Captain Cook review, he knocked over a whole bunch of boxes behind me. It was like crash bang wallop. I was like, oh my goodness, here we go. This can be fun and games, isn't it? Uh, do you change checker sell authentic coins? Yeah, they, they get their coins from the Royal Mint. They repackage them into the change checker blue cards. Uh, so they don't come in Royal Mint packaging, but they come in their own change checker packaging. And they sell a whole bunch of other stuff as well. For the sake of transparency, I've been lucky enough to work uh, closely with the guys from Change Checker in the past. I'm not a part of them and they don't pay me to talk about them, but um, I'm lucky in that they reached out to me and wanted to do videos and things with me. I was going to make a joke about sodium, but I thought, nah, it's too salty. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, the bad jokes have already started. Uh, Paul says, hi Chris, I really enjoy the videos, but if you could change the music sometimes, that would be great, as I hum it all day. <sighs> Divisive topic. Divisive topic. Chat, what do you think? Do we change the music? That's a, that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down response, I think. Thumbs up to change the music, thumbs down to keep it the same. Every time I've run this past everyone, they've all said, don't change a thing. Apart from the coins, obviously. You've got to change the coins every week. We're getting some nose. We're getting nose over on YouTube. Oh, over on Twitch. Well, it is a definite no from um, Twitch. And it looks like it's a definite no on YouTube. The thing is, I think that track has sort of become synonymous with my channel and hunting coins. Um, not that I'm claiming ownership of that track, though. Obviously, if you watch another YouTube that uses that track for their videos and has done for some time, you would know it as their track as well. But um, 
I think people have got very used to that track being on my videos. Hit <laughs> the dislike button for him to change it. To be fair, with that kind of reaction from the guys on um, YouTube and over on Twitch, I think we're going to leave it as it is. <laughs> no, it is. What am I drinking? Coca-Cola. Just Coca-Cola. Nothing special in there. Even if it is bank holiday weekend. I can dream the ocean was filled with soda. It was a fantasy. Oh. <laughs> Good lord, <laughs> what a joke, what a joke. Favourite territories coin, uh, Isle of Man, Lockton, Lockton Ram, 50p. Chris is drinking Coke and vodka, oh no not vodka, not vodka, goodness gracious no. That's not going to happen. I'll be on the floor by now, three sips and I'll be gone. If it's vodka. Uh, is it worth getting a business account at the bank? Well, if you want um, to access more coins and your bank won't let you, then yeah, sure. But there are fees and charges and transactional fees to pay if you are um, using a business account, though. It's not free to use like a personal account. Thank you very much, George, for joining the hunt. Shall we do an edge hunt then? Go on then. Sh uh, moderators, grab onto your underpants. This is going to get quite busy in chat. Shout out your number and we'll see what you find. I wouldn't anticipate finding anything in this bag. Tequila. Stacy Lou says 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Stacy Lou has found a shield. If I pick your number, don't post anymore. Let someone else have a go. Lynn Mills says 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Lynn Mills has found a shield. Stevie Rob says four, two, four is a uh, lion. Uh, Paul McQueen says five, two, four, five is a lion. Uh, ben Eno says 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Shield. Uh, Laughter says number one. Laughter found nothing. Beata said 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 is a shield. Jane Stevens says 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Shield. Uh, Sadman 2K says 3. Number 3 is a lion. Keen Reagan says 15. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 is a lion. Uh, Marnie Wilson says 11. 2, Four, six, eight, ten, eleven is another shield. Curtis is number one. Number one is a shield. Freeman says twenty-two. Oh dear. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Background to the start. Twenty-two is a shield. Olivia Rule says number two. Number two is a lion. George says seven, two, four, six, seven is way a shield. We have to top this up in a moment. Uh, MJ Colhoun says 13, two, four, six, eight, 12, 13 is a lion. Quite big says only 50. <laughs> Charlie says four, one, two, three, four, shield. Aviation Media says three. Lion. Harry's Dan says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine is a shield. Benji plays MC says eight, two, four, six, eight. Shield. Uh, -lo 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 -lo. Florian says eight, two, four, six, eight is a shield. And I saw Care Bear had number nine which is a lion. Um, James Lindley says 17. Right, let's stack up the rest of these. Right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 
That is a shield. Beatus is six, two, four, six is a lion. Robert Robert says 50. Well, that'll be the very last one, won't it, Robert? Uh, that is a lion. Tez Hall says three. Uh, lion. Dan says 37. Goodness gracious. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that'll be about 20, 30, two, four, six, seven. I reckon that's about it, Dan. <laughs> that's my guesstimation. Ian Shodrick says seven, two, four, six, seven is a shield. Uh, Tez Hall says three, shield. Uh, 11 is an X, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 is a shield. Uh, Gordon Davis says 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Shield. Who have I missed then? Jimmy says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine is a shield. Seven's the magic number, says uh, Castor Rucka Rucka. Two, four, six, seven is a lion. George Dog says six, two, four, six is a shield. Three says James Lindley. Lion. Caleb B says 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Shield. 8 says Carl and Anzia. 2, 4, 6, 8 is shield. John Saunders says 4, 2, 4. Lion. Sporty Girl says 4, 4 is a shield. 9 says Bev, Bev Davidson. 2, Four, six, eight, nine is a shield. Thirteen says Olivia Rules. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Back to the front. Twelve, thirteen is a shield. Uh, three is the magic number. Says George Dog. Shield. I think Christopher missed that error coin. <laughs> Any more guesses? Who missed? Joe Hardy says thirteen. Oh my goodness. Two, four, six, eight. So that'd be 16, 13 would be that one. It is a shield. Number one says Olivia Rules. Olivia Rules gets a shield. Number five, two, four, five is a shield. We have got five left. Kebe says number five is a shield. Uh, Daniel M says four. Lion. We've got three left. Three left. George Dog says three is the magic number. It is not. Last two. There we go. We got Diddly. We got Diddly. A case of the Diddlies, unfortunately. I missed the cue. <laughs> I very, very much doubt we missed a cue. Do they sell cue gardens? That depends who they are. Ooh, showing a bit of the red under there. Uh, hey Crystal, do you collect dates as well as commemoratives? I've got a date run of the coins I hunt through, yes. Can I tell you about the, the ring I wear? Um, well, it's a, it's a symbol for something, and if you know what it is, it's a great conversation starter. That's all I'm prepared to say. If you know what it is, leave a cryptic clue in the comments. I will confirm that, that, will, that will confirm you know what it is without saying exactly what it is. Well, Harry Sheeman knows. Brown and runs around the garden. Oh goodness! <laughs> Hopefully it's your dog. <laughs> Can we count the number of shields and lions we have found? Since there's always seem to have no chance. Oh, George dog knows. George dog knows. <laughs> Duncan knows. Duncan's got it. Adam Boots news. 
shirt says Robert Roberts. <laughs> Plus Bob's got it. Quimbig's not got it. Aviation Media's got it. Darren Cheshire has it. Stacey Loon, sad man. Not quite sure. Not quite sure about your subtle hint. My shirt, thank you very much. I picked it especially for the live stream. <laughs> I think it's suitably horrific. It was a limited edition twirl, like half white chocolate and half caramac. Holy Toledo, that sounds wonderful. Bev Davidson got a, got a Brexit token, a fantastic item. I know, I was, really, I was really impressed with that, to be fair. But the gentleman reached out to me about uh, whether I would review the product for him. And like I said in the video when I was recording it, it did make me feel like a real YouTuber having a sponsor of a video. So I was pretty chuffed. And I think everyone else was all on board with it. Okay, but I think it's a nice shirt. Well, I think you're in the minority there. <laughs> Even I think it's a horrific shirt. <laughs> What is that shirt? You've stolen your little brother's curtains again. <laughs> Give them back. <laughs> Picked especially for how horrific it looks. I, it came off on my Instagram. I think you might have even done it in the chat, actually, Frankie Franks. When, I, when, it, when it popped up, and I, I think I'm sure I sent a picture of it. I said how how amazingly horrific it is. It is getting very hot in this shirt though, I must say. It's getting very, very warm. I'm a bit more to drink. A fence? A fence? What? What fence? <laughs> uh, Frankie Franks does not approve. Is it hot in the UK? It is boiling today. It is absolutely boiling. Coinpix says, I don't like being on board, especially in a storm. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. On the hard stuff now. <laughs> Brown and runs around the garden. A fence. Oh, I get it. It runs around the garden. I get it. Yes. Yeah, I'm with you now. I'm with you. That's the problem with sending your jokes in two parts. I might not get the um, punchline. <laughs> I try my best to see as many comments as, as is physically possible. Take the shirt off. Oi, oi. <laughs> no way, Jose. I bought it specifically for the live stream. I'm going to have my own little collection of horrific shirts. Steve often bought a Brexit token. Thinks it's awesome. 25 degrees in the shade here in Reading. Well, Reading's just down the road for me. And when the whole UK is going to the beaches, I see. Are we allowed? <laughs> Let's not open that can of worms. Let's not open that can of worms. You didn't actually pay for that shirt, did you? <laughs> it was on special offer. It's not special offer. You gotta give me that. My prediction is the next bag for a find. Well, it better be because this is the last bag of this of this bag. If, you, if that makes any sense to you. James Lindley got a Brexit token. Bloody lovely, amazing. I'm glad you all liked it as well. I thought they were really neat. Beautiful colours on it. But for those that didn't see that, that's on the, is it Brexit bust video? Because I, I got my hands on another sealed bag. There's only one sealed bag, mind you, but I'm on a bit of a roll with my sealed bags, aren't I? Hello, Marty. Welcome to the live stream, Sir Sadman. There we go. Sadman's being our doorman for the live stream. Love that shirt. Looks like a stamp. Free the stamps. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the stamp videos. 
Nobody wants to see the stamp videos. No one wanted to see them. They are... They are confined, relegated to the annals of history. Um, but that's the first bag done. And a bit of an anticlimax. We found Diddly Squat. Uh, so there we go. Fingers crossed for the next bag. We'll move on to some 50p's. We've got a bag of 10p's and 50 bag, uh, 50p's. Then we're back to 10p's and we finish off with some 50p's because I don't have a bag of £2 coins today. Never forget Christmas stamps. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All these people that want to see the stamp videos. Hashtag free the stamps. Hashtag ditch the shirt. <laughs> no one wants to see the stamp videos. You're all cracking up. Right. Um, you made me lose my trail of thought now. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, I'm going to go wash my hands. Hopefully we get some more luck in the next bag. What we're going to tick over to is what should be a gallery of the three pages of different designs. So these are designs that um, people have submitted for redesigning the letter B. That's currently B for Bond on the 10 Ps. Uh, there will be a poll put up uh, at the end of this break. I might be gone for about five minutes. Uh, I'll be back in sort of five minutes or so. Uh, you can then click on onto that poll to then vote for the um, design that you like. Okay, I think that makes sense. So I should be back in a moment. Hello, 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 we are back. 
I'm just about to go set up that the uh, poll. So shan't be a moment. What's everyone liking then? Actually, can I can I get myself on the gallery view? Let's see. Right, you should be able to hear me now. Yep, I think so. Now, I had the video by pressing add, video doodah, dibbly dee dee, there I am. Let's shrink myself down a little bit. Right, we're getting there. We're cooking on gas, whoops, crushing Beethoven there. Right, there we go. How's that for Mr. Technology over here? Uh, right, straw poll. Oh, goodness. Right, create a poll. F oh, I accept. Favorite letter. B. Description, we'll just put Christopher Collects. Right, so I just need to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirty three, right? Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-three. Create the poll. Da 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 da. -da. Right, now I just need to share the link. Turn my volume off so you don't hear me twice. Let's log into the right YouTube account on my phone. Oh, there it is. That's the live stream. Right, link is being posted. If someone could kindly post it over on Twitter as well. Thanking you very, very much. Oops. So there's lots of very, very nice designs. And we'll get a um an idea of what's going to be the top voted one. Oh, we've got a runaway winner to begin with. We've got a runaway winner for starting. Is it over on Twitch to vote? No, I haven't put it on Twitch. I don't know if anyone can bring the link over. Um, no link on Twitch. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. There you go, you got a link. Ah, oh, Twitter Coins beat me to it. Goodness gracious. But if anyone would like to repost that, uh, the moderators, feel free to. It's be interesting to see what everyone's liking the best. But some absolutely beautiful designs there. Click the link to vote. Numbers in the comments won't count. Yes. Obviously, be, be free, feel free to tell us what your favourite one is, but if you want your vote to count, make sure you click that link. Oh, it's close, it's close. 23 and 32. 23 is Banksy, and 32 is Bowie. 
Very good. We've got lots with one vote apiece. Thirty three is cool. What is up there? It's up there. But we will return um, to these in the breaks. Uh, before the end, we will announce the winner. Uh, is there a link to vote Sadman? If you look up two comments, you'll see my one, and then two comments above that is Total Coins one. You can click on either of those to quit, to vote. Question is, are people voting for the actual designs or what they want to see on the coin, if you see what I mean? Pick your favourite. Pick your favourite. Billy for the win. <laughs> Crystal, how would you like some Star Wars Lego minifigures? I've got a few. I've got a few little ones. I wonder who came up with number 33. What's number 33? Oh, I know which one of those. I know what 33 is. Missed yours and your daughter's design. Oh, my apologies. Um... Hold on, I can re remedy that. I did actually keep them separate because there was two designs on the one thingy what wasn't there. Oh, where did I put it? There it is. So, hold on. I've got a missing design. Let me just squeeze them in. Oh, dear. Oops. This is me trying my best at technology. Right. Uh. Okay. If I delete that, right, it's going to let me do that. There we go, replace. There we go. I've managed to add it in. Ah, there we go. Has it automatically remedied, remedied whatever the word I'm looking for? There we go. The two ones, the missing ones are on there in each corner. So that, what, 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 that, that corner and this is that corner. Well, they're gone now, but it took me long enough to figure out which way to point. <laughs> but apologies, it's because they were on the same one. I meant to split them out. Um, I meant to split them out, but I, I, I apologize. I, I missed that one. Nine or eighteen? Well, we're getting lots of. Let's have a quick, a quick, have a look at the voting. Then we have number thirty-two in the lead. Twenty-three, following close, and then it gets a bit closer. On there, we got number first place and second place, very, very close. I just noticed what I voted for. Anyway, hashtag use your vote, vote to or lose it. Exactly, use your vote or lose it. <laughs> but no, lots of absolutely awesome, awesome designs. <laughs> right then, anyway, this is just a little bit of a side event. Just the coins themselves are what we're here for. Can I please have a, a shout out for my donation page for Macmillan as I sent a link to you on Instagram. I've had £10 donation so far. I just need another £90 to achieve my target. So then I'll shave my hair off. Goodness gracious, of course. In fact, I might have that link on my phone. 
because you sent it to me on Instagram, did you not? Uh, there we go. I'm just going to YouTube. Oop, that hasn't worked. Copy link. There we go. Right. So apologies. We're getting there. I did say I would plug this fundraiser. Hopefully that works. So Stacy Lou's fundraiser for Macmillan. Dave Matthews, somebody says I missed you. You missed out mine and my daughter's designs. I popped them in. They're in both corners right now. Those corners, not those corners. Ah, oh, I can't, can't point them out quick enough. Right then. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Every design is fantastic. Christopher is grateful for everyone's effort. Very true, very, very true. Um, oh, we're on the wrong screen now. Let's go live. There we are. So what are we looking for? Well, 50p's. We are missing Q Gardens, as if we're going to get that. But we can live in hope. Uh, we have got a whole page of Olympics there. We have got a whole page of Olympics here. And my last Olympic we're looking for is Triathlon, which is there. All the other ones, modern ones up to and including the Brexit 50p. We have completed. So it's just triathlon and Kew Gardens to finish the book. So as ever, no, as normal, if we find triathlon, we'll do a mega hunt looking for that last Kew Gardens and then call an end to the book. Uh, obviously with what's going on in the world at the moment, I can't really do a mega hunt. So the closest time after we find it that I can do a mega hunt, we will do a mega hunt. Hawkeye. So. What are we looking for then? Uh, Britannia's look for the year 2008, which is a low minted year. And then Shields 2009, 10, 11, 16 and 18 were not intended for circulation, uh, but also the year 2017 is a low minted year. I keep them separate so I can hunt through them at the end of the live stream. I'll be over on my Discord server in the voice channel. Uh, so if you want to come over and chat with... Oh, there we go. What a first find. We've got an Olympic. Holy Toledo. Starting strong, starting strong with Olympic goal ball. Or Paralympic, is it Paralympic goal ball? Master Temple will know, Master Temple will know. So there we go. What a good start though. Finding an Olympic, we can't really complain about that, can we? Like button is about a hundred short. Holy Toledo. Oh no, it's the only one that Lighty needs. <laughs> My apologies, Lighty. The other coin tubers out there then. What 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 coins are we are you all stuck on at the moment? Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. We knew that one was gonna come along sometime today. Finding it more and more of them. What coins everyone else stuck on? Paddington at the Cathedral. So those of you that are members, a big thank you to you all over on um, <laughs> uh, those of you that are members on YouTube, a big thank you. You've got your little custom emojis. You can do your Team Cathedral or Team Tower uh, little emoji. Uh, ben can't find any Olympics, so they are. To be fair, any Olympic is a tough find, to be fair. We've got Scouts. Team Tower says Sad Man. Agreed. Agreed. Team Tower says George Dog. Uh, Laura just needs two more Paddingtons. Very cool. <laughs> Katie Jones 
has put my energy, my face. Master Temple's put team, the Team Cath uh, Team Cathawa. Team Cathedral emoji. Ruby Davis needs modern pentathlon. That's a lovely coin, and it's quite a tricky one to find as well, to be fair. Team Tower, it's not even close. Agreed, Paul. Agreed. Christopher, did you see my dream comment? Um, I don't know. Uh, just be more specific. <laughs> We've got Panton at the Cathedral again. The 2018 B to complete the set. Oh, very cool. Pants in the palace and the majority of the Olympics is Warren. Joe collects coins needs Sherlock. Don't get me started on Team No Hope. <laughs> when does it end? When does the live stream end? When we're out of coins? I've got a bag of, well, the majority of this bag of 50 P's. A whole bag of 10 P's and then another bag of 50 P's to get through. There is um, Roger Bannister. A bit of a mind blank there. He's a common one. That's a nice find. Not my favourite design, I'll be honest. Benjamin Britten. But it's a keeper for sure. Slightly over face value. That one's a bit grubby, isn't it? Goodness gracious. Can I show the Peter Pan coin you sent me? Um, I know which one you mean. I think it's packed away in the cupboard. I was seeing if it was on my side because I put some things on the side there. I think it's in my box of tokens. I will try and get it out for next week. Uh, give Mr. Absorbency another chance. He's a very nice guy. I, I tried giving him a chance that before I blocked him from talking on the on the channel. He blew it. He blew it. I have a funny feeling as well. That must be someone that's related to Mr. Absorbency. If not Mr. Absorbency himself. That's a bit gross, isn't it? Not quite interesting enough to go in the oddities box. Uh, where's what's the link to vote? I'm sure someone will be kind enough to post that. Doing a chance. <laughs> you know, I did that big silly one video, one of these live streams. <laughs> now everyone wants them. There you go. Coins and War's got the link to voting. The link is over on Twitch. So thank you to the moderators for doing that. See someone's legs there. That is a representation of the People Act. Another very common one, but I like the design for that one, to be fair. One I think is really neat. Uh, did you set up a Star Wars battle with the fridge magnets? Uh, they are all over my whiteboard. They are stuck everywhere. I think they're awesome. But thank you very much, and they were awesome. Is that Steve Ufton? Yes. They are awesome. They are all stuck up on my whiteboard. I bought a whiteboard thinking I can be really, I can be, I can get really organised and have all the videos I'm planning to do and what stages they're done and blah 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 blah, uh, and now it's just a, a mash of all of my fridge magnets. So <laughs> didn't quite happen. Is that a shell suit, pal? <laughs> it's just a, it's just a terrible shirt. I love it. I think it's, I think it's, it's so awful. I, I fell in love with it. I thought that would be perfect. For a live stream and oh there we go christopher ironside very common but neat i do keep all my iron sides now it's a fellow christopher got to be done right 2017's peter rabbit our first 2017 bizarrely normally find tons of them there's still plenty of bags to go through to find it plenty in the tank why don't you stream on YouTube? I'm streaming simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube as we speak. 
got my YouTube, my Discord, Discord, Twitch comments there, YouTube comments there. Guess who's back for the third week in a row? My dad's staying with me through lockdown. Can you tell? <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in again. Please don't wear that shirt to the mint for the next visit. <laughs> I would need a bribe. I would need a bribe. How do you become a moderator? Um, to be fair, I could probably do with some more Twitch moderators, but I can't do it whilst I'm streaming because it, do it does my head in. Um, but it's when it's basically when, when I feel we need more moderators. Uh, like on YouTube, we've got plenty at the moment. Um, it's the regular viewers that we see week in, week out that I get to know um, that gets added on, get, get added to the moderator list. Uh, Mr. Retzim Relims here, Mr. Redacted himself. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Oh, I've got a Bihoy. Don't wear the sharp. Uh, wear the sharp. Wear the shirt bribe. <laughs> Bihoy doesn't want to see the shirt at the mint, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jamesy. Very kind of you, very kind. Another breakfast 50p. Peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. Oops. Stevie Rob is off. Got to head off. Bales wants his walk. Good luck for the hunt and stay safe, everyone. Thank you for tuning in, Stevie Rob. Hope you enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Oh, Paddington at the palace there. Just put him next to the cathedral. Oh, don't worry, you won't see it there. It'll be back on the curtain rail by then. <laughs> and that's the one you want to see. Go Team Tower. Team Tower, we're going to win. We're going to win. It's going to happen, don't you think? Not even going to be close. Please, can you tell my toothache to calm down? It's doing my head in. Ouch. There are a few pains in this world as frustrating as tooth pain. I said everyone wears an obnoxious shirt at the next Royal Mint trip. How about no Katie Jones? <laughs> Laughter disagrees. You can get the other coin tubers aboard. I, I'll, I'll play ball. I might bring one just in case everyone decides to not do it. But if you want to petition or bungle and absolute coins and the bee hoy, <laughs> Steve Afton, Super Jello, three pounds saying, wear the shirt to the mint. There we go. Some, some uh, uncertainty. Uh, certainty though, that is the Brexit 50p. Although the uncertainty around Bre the Brexit 50p is whether the additional 7 million are going to be minted or not. Who knows, not me. Uh, I thought you had to draw your beef 10p, but loads of people used online pictures. Well, it's, it's uh, however you want to do it. If you want to draw it, if you want to um, use a screen grab, it's down to viewers to pick their favourites. Wearing one of Dan Temple's cool paintings. <laughs> More pepperonis there. We've got more pepperonis than you can shake a stick at. There we go. Mr. Tiggy Winkle there from the 2016 Beatrix Potter set. The only 2016 that's only face rally still. But there we go. Won't sniff at that. Oh, that's sticky. That's disgusting. That's going over there. Ugh. That was gross. Good lordy. Who knows what has happened to that coin? Not me. It's 
Smash that like button up to 100, says Laughter. Thank you very much. Why'd you call the Brexit coin breakfast? <laughs> um, well, it's peace, prosperity, and pepperonis. There was that. There was that conservative um, MP that they meant to say Brexit means Brexit, but they said Brexit means breakfast. And in my mind, it's always been breakfast since then. <laughs> Just a bit of silliness. Just a bit of silliness. Looks like a Johnny Vegas shirt. <laughs> Deary dear. Deary dear. Robert Roberts coin's got five votes. Wowee. There we go. Right. Miss finding coins in my change is the only way I coin hunt. Well, fingers crossed, uh, things start going to some semblance of normality again sometime soon, but we never know. We've got ourselves a Benjamin Bunny, Benjamin Binny, Benjamin Benny. That's a dictionary. Look at that. Someone's attacked it with a hole puncher at the bottom there. Bizarro. It's an old Edmund shirt. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Love 50p coin hunts. Out of all the ones you do, they're just so good, especially when you're doing them. Thank you, Nicola. A bungle error, that is. <laughs> Has bungle attacked it. Who knows? Thanks for tuning in, Ben. Hope you enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Paddington at the magnanimity again. Defo having more time on my hands now. I'm back to work. Uh-oh. We'll send Christopher a shirt for his birthday next month. <laughs> dear, dear. Yeah, just less than a month ago that I have. I get to have some cake. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Do I play FIFA? I don't, no. I don't really play any computer games at the moment. Did you get that shirt from Captain Sensible? <laughs> uh, it's Paul Welford's birthday on the 30th of May. Well, happy birthday for then. Uh, do you know how Coin Cupboard is? Yeah, I've sp we still speak to Coin Cupboard. He's taking a break. But he's all okay. I see, I see something, I see something, I see a coin that's got no hope. Hashtag team no hope. Oh Sherlock there. What day's my birthday? 12th of June. June 12th. I didn't used to say, but then when I set up my Christopher Collects uh, Twitter, do Twitter, Facebook, uh, I didn't realise it announces your birthday, so it's all there to be seen. We've got ourselves another Breakfast 50p. Day before uh, Lynn Mills. Lynn Mills is on the 13th. 
I know it's Amber Wakeling's birthday in June. I know it's Robert Roberts' birthday in June. All the best people are born in June, aren't they? I lost count how many times. George is June the 18th. You are a Gemini, correct. It's Laura's birthday as well. Wowie. See, all the best people are born in June. Those is Monty. Dave Matthews as well. How old are you? 21 plus 7. It's going to be. It's going to be. Another Peter Rabbit. Can't remember what day. I can barely remember the date of my own birthday, let alone everyone, anyone else's. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I can't guess. This is Tiggy Winkle. Only if you tell Facebook what your birthday is. Yes, but I thought you had to. <laughs> I didn't think there was any choice. I didn't realise it was going to broadcast it to all and sundry. When is the next PO Box video? Um, so I was hoping last Thursday, but my Captain Cook £2 coin arrived and that took precedence. Uh, I was hoping this Thursday, but I'm hoping to get my, my whole, co collect whole collection video out for then. There's Peter Rabbit. So it might be a week Thursday. There's Benjamin Bunny. And there is a Taylor Gloucester. That's a nice find. All the 2018s are pretty low mintage. There we go. Uh, I'll put that with the next to the 2016. Looking forward to the whole collection video, yes. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. I think it does accurately um, <laughs> um, show that I have I have some issues. I have some issues. <laughs> I have some hoarding issues. Roger Bannister there. How long will my post feature in your <coughs> PO Box video? Um, have I received it yet? I don't know. It's tough to say. Katie Jones is born on, born on Friday the 13th. I'll be 75. What? 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 I won't be 75. That's for sure. <laughs> Retsum was born in February. Next coin, coin uh, next good coin, say Holly Toledo. Instead of Holly Toledo, Holly Toledo. Not posted yet, just wondering. Um, well, everything that's sent into the PO box does feature in a PO box video. We've got a dictionary there. But it does take a bit of extra time to get to the PO box, and then obviously it depends when I go down to pick stuff up from that. Obviously, I, I can't really do it at the moment because they are open um, restricted hours, and I'm at work, back at work now, so I managed to get down there whilst I was on holiday. Is it buffering? Is it buffering? If the if the live stream is buffering, try refreshing the stream. But we had that issue last week. It's all clear on my end. Whoops! Oh no. Oh dear, just knocked over a whole pile of coins. I'm about to knock over another one. Let's try this one again. Oh, butter things over here. Ah, it's all gone a bit wonky down there. Okay, right, that'll do. Playing sandcast sandcasters over there. Tried switching to Twitch and YouTube is playing up big style, is it? 
Oh dear. Found my first letter 10p today. It was happy, but it started another bug. Wow, which one did you get? And hello to uh, Alia. Alia Diaz. Did you hear Boris opening schools the 1st of June? Yeah, I heard that. But I think we're going to avoid that topic today. I think we we don't really need... We're going to avoid that dose of reality. I think we, 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 we have enough of that day in, day out currently. These live streams are a little bit of a um, escapism from all of that nonsense. Paul Welford is a teacher. We are not going back. Oh, there we go. 2016's Peter Rabbit. Lovely find. Uh, they will be put up on the screen in a bit. Yes. We will come back to that in a moment. We've only got one bag of 50p's left to go, and then we've done with this bag. And then, um, what was I saying? I can't remember. It's getting, I'm getting too hot, and my, <laughs> my brain isn't working at the moment. Uh, after this bag, we will go to the little gallery of all the different designs which you can then click the link to vote for your favourite. We've got an iron side there. And there we go. So star find was a very early find. That, that Paralympic, is it is Paralympic, isn't it? Yeah. Goal ball which is absolutely fantastic. Any hunt you find in Olympic is a success, even if it's just the one. But I've got to go wash my hands because look at them, they're getting gross again. I will head on out, we, we will flip over to the gallery. So it should automatically cycle through the different pictures. He says, there we go, see? Cycle through the pictures. Each number corresponds to one you can vote for. Let's have a look at what the scores on the doors are. Scores on the doors. 32, Justin lead, quickly followed by, 30, by number 23. And then it's a bit of a gap and it gets all very close in third place. So first and second are quite close. There's still plenty of you to vote for. So you're voting for your favorite design. So it was that the idea is you redesign a letter of the alphabet 10P and B was this, the, this week's one. So, um, trapdoor doesn't start with a with an <laughs> with a. Uh, it's B for Bert. Bert from trapdoor. <laughs> but there's lots of awesome designs that you can go and vote for, and the winner gets a little bit a little prize from me. Um, and also, uh, if you didn't get a chance to enter this week, feel free to. Um, design which one you want to do for next week we're doing the letter c next week which is c for cricket currently if your design matches my design if i design the same thing as you do you automatically win a prize uh which didn't happen this week i did b for brian may harry voted for number 28 which one was 28 b for bbc What's the prize if you win? Well, you have to win to find out. But no, some awesome, awesome designs. How do you enter? Send your designs. You can draw them, you can clip art them, whatever you want to, to do. Uh, send them to my social medias, my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. If you don't have any social medias, there is an email address in the About section on the channel. Um, and then it'll be voted for on next week's live stream. But some absolutely cracking designs. Um, some very, very cool ones that I really like as well. Um, 
so yeah feel free to get voting i'm going to be back in a moment once i've washed my hands Right, I'm back. Let's have a quick, quick refresh of the of the votes. Oh, getting it is still tight in first and second, and then the golf opens somewhat, but still plenty of time to get your votes in. The links, I'm sure, the moderators will be kind enough to vote. It's pretty neck and neck in first and second place, though. Between, um, I think it's this one and. Oh, it's on the next one. I got a moment. 
and uh, this way. Not not bait heaven, the one next to him, Banksy. Thank you for posting that lighty. Thank you, Total Coins and Amber, for posting it on Twitch. Yeah, it's Banksy versus Bowie currently. Change of hat. Yes, this is the 10p fez. Right. Now then, let's hope and pray we get more luck. Ooh. There's something funny on that bag. I'm not quite sure what that is. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong button. Hopefully we get more luck with this bag than the last bag. Because we found the sum total of diddly squat in the first bag. Oh, I need some nicotine. I've gone a while without any nicotine. So, health, health warning. I vape. You shouldn't vape. If you vape, you will instantly combust. So don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Comprende? And if you have any other um, life advice, like don't eat the yellow snow, don't make eye contact eating bananas, feel free to post it if you want to share some life advice as well. Don't wash your clothes upside down. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Keith Elric. Keith Elric likes the shirt. What flavour is it? It's uh, Amigo Grape, I think. It's called Pet Shout Outs. Yes, we'll be on Pet Shout Outs on this bag. Don't wear funky shirts. Not sure about that one, Frankie. Not sure about that piece of advice. Don't wear your birthday suit on Christmas. <laughs> bit chilly, bit chilly. Unless you're in um, Australia. Don't say no to your wife. There we go. There's a, there's a man that's learned. That's learned. <coughs> Keza says, don't lick strangers. Correct Amundo. Take away all ladders from people who retire. <laughs> oh dear. That seems like a very specific story there. Uh, Canterbury. Canterbury P.I.? Dominic likes the funky shirt. Don't watch Michael Jackson's thriller video at 3 a.m. with the lights out. Don't poo in the wind. <laughs> Don't pee in the wind. Don't touch bunk coins. Don't tell Bungle that. Do we know who actually drew 32? Because it's amazing. I know. I know who all the artists are. I can't see Christopher collects within the sea of designs. It all blends into one image. I'm over here, Coin Pig. I'm over here. Send help. <laughs> to quote Marvin, life, don't talk to me about life. There we go. Hello from New Zealand. Awesome. Everyone should watch Dan Temple's painting videos. They are great. I second that 100%. Don't hug gorillas. Don't Google that. Okay. Say Max is awesome. Max is awesome. Hello, Jake. Thank you for tuning in. All right, so let's plug this in so we don't run out of juice on this because that would be the end of the world for me. That would be the end of the stream if I run out of that. Can't believe you are slash wear a smoker. Yeah, quit smoking. Uh... This October, it will be five years ago, this October. Toughest thing I've ever done, and I miss cigarettes every day. So don't start. That's the, that's the best bit of advice. Don't start, otherwise you will Well, if you don't start, you'll never have to quit. It's like modern day Northern Tony Hart. <laughs> this temple's treasures. It's fantastic videos. They are fantastic videos. Some of my favorite videos. Now there's an endorsement. There's the, an endorsement. Right, what are we gonna find then? What letter do we all think we're going to find? Surely we've got to find one in this bag. We can't go 200 pounds worth of diddlies.
If you're too open-minded, your brains will fall out. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Coins and More UK is 34 now and quit smoking 25 years ago. Wowee. Well done to you. J I N says Stacy. B says Teague Benice. Doesn't vaping count as smoking? No, not at all. My doctor, my doctor advised me it would be much more, much better for my health to vape rather than smoke. And I know that from personal experience. Whenever I used to get cold, I used to go straight into a test infection. Whereas now, touch wood, I haven't been ill very often at all, um, and I get over it quite quick. So yeah, that's only personal experience. Obviously, it's much safer not to vape. To cut it out entirely. Wish I had the willpower to quit. Plan is as soon as lockdown is over, I will try. Have a crack at it, Lighty. But it is tricky. It is. It was hard. It was hard quitting them. Man, oh man, do I miss them? <laughs> uh, got some more letters. V L E. I couldn't imagine you smoking. You seem too nice. How did I start? I don't know. It was just. I don't know. I bought a pack of cigarettes. There was nothing worse than the taste you get off cigarettes when you had a bad cold. Wouldn't stop you smoking though, I know. Steve Ufton quit smoking 20 years ago. Wowee. When did I start smoking? Uh, I think it was when I was 18. And I smoked until I was 22. It wasn't, I was never like a 60 a day situation, but. Um, I don't know. Did I go cold turkey? Uh, I went straight. I, I bought a vape and I stuck at that. And I stuck with it. I have had the odd cigarette from time to time. I hasten to add when uh, my one of my vapes blew up or didn't blow up, just stopped working. Um, and maybe when I've had a bit to drink. <laughs> if I had a bit to drink, I can't. I can't contain myself. We've got uh, the Great Siege, Gibraltarian, 2012. We've got something. We have got something. Happy 121st birthday. What? What? 121st? Whose 121st birthday is it? It's definitely not mine. The letter K is coming, says Aviation Media. Would that make me 27 now? It would. For a whole half of a month, I'll be 27. What is the hat called? It's a fez. It doesn't have a specific name, but it is a fez. I should look at the camera while searching for the 10Ps. Well, the, the, I've got my webcam is there. And just here, I've got my little face camera. And just there is the coins. Christo Fez. <laughs> Letter T is incoming, says Nash. Got to go. Have a great hunt, Christopher. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you for tuning in, Steve. Hope you enjoy the rest of your um, bank holiday weekend. Will there be another Wallace and Gromit 50p? Who knows? I think that'd be great, though. Um, like I'm anticipating, surely there'll be another Gruffalo and another Snowman. Surely there will be. Surely there will be. That's called Roger. <laughs> Dear, dear. Well, the other thing I will vouch for in terms of quitting is the little nicotine tablets because I can't vape whilst I'm at work but I've got them in a drawer it's not the same as vaping or smoking but it, it that, that feeling that, uh, that feeling that urge you get those smokers amongst you 
to the, the, that urge you get to smoke, it quashes that urge. Um, so I would vouch for them as well. I'm sure you, and I know you can get them, you can get them through the uh, quit smoking lines as well. But anyway, I think that's enough about smoking. <laughs> Good luck to those of you that have quit. Good luck to those of you who are planning to quit. I wish you every success in your endeavours. But we're on the second bag of 10 peas, which can mean only one thing. Who knows what that means? Wait to see who, who says it first in the chat. <clears throat> Stacy Lou's got it. <laughs> Gracie Coin Hunt's got it. Dan Temple's got it. Running out of bags. It is pet shout out time. So if you've got a pet that you want to shout out for, as long as it's not called Roger, we do prejudice against pets called Roger, I'm afraid, around here. So if you want to shout out for your pet, let me know their name and I'll give them a shout out. First one came was Aunt Enna from Grossy Coin Hunt. Millie the dog. Parsley and Polly, they are both dogs. Ozzy the Tibetan Mastiff is a regular viewer. Hello Digger. Millie May, cat buddy dog. Teddy the Collie. My dog's called Christopher Collects and Holly, my cat called Philip and my fish called... Ah, you almost got me, you almost got me. <laughs> Mods need their pants tight, yeah, grab onto your pants. Uh, Bobby the 16 year old cat, wow wee. Robert Roberts cat uh, rat is also called... Oh, there we go. Shout outs for my pet spider, Simon. Holy Toledo. Uh, Barney, the lab collie cross. Dan the Donkey, Trev the Dirty Monkey, uh, Spots, Stitch, Bandit, Chip, and these are, these are Laura's cats. P please can we have a massive pet shout out to Bramble the Border who sadly passed away this week. We normally shout him out every week. Thank you. I'm so sorry to hear that, Teague Bernice. Um, Harry Toth says he's called Pogo. He was at the vets earlier. He's a bit sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope things get better. Uh, we've got Mob the Dog. Holy Toledo. We've got Daisy the Cat. Millie the dog and Jasper the cat, Leo the Dalmatian, Hattie the dog, my pet is called Patrick Eats Oreos, <laughs> Team Sherlock the slug, Harrison the is hosting the stream over on Twitch, thank you very very much, uh, the, uh, Nash's uh, late dog Bally, uh, so, oh, that one got removed by moderator, uh, my dog's a pixie and rosy, uh, Lucy the black lab, Minnie the dog, a Jack Russell cross with a poodle. Uh, Jack Doodle then. Jack Jacoodle. Uh, four cat, four dogs. Kara, Pixie, Molly, and Angel. Susan the Scorpion. Um, <laughs> ben Edo, I'm not saying that. Uh, my dog called Christopher Collects. Holly, my cat. Philip, my hamster, Pippin. Uh, Speaking of pets, how are my pets? My pets are fine. Brought in a mouse the other day. That was not good. Not good. Uh, Jerry and Loki says Katie. Shout out to my cat Sebastian says Amy. My rabbit Betsy says Coin101. Can we paste the voting link, please, moderators? I'm sure someone will. Snorlax the cats. Mars the monkey. Uh, Jackapoo. That's how you pronounce it. Oh, I see. Jackapoo. <laughs> <laughs> any fans so far a fair few fans yet yeah. also snacks even though laughter is away right now laughter's dog, dog snacks yeah, snacks gets his shout outs doesn't he everybody knows snacks Max the Tarantula and Lunatic the Cat as well. Paddington the Bear. Pip the Jack Russell. That's my favourite breed, someone told me. It was a cross between a Jack Russell, a Poodle and a Chihuahua. It was a Jackawawa Doodle. Amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. Jackawawa Doodle. 
I've no idea what one of them looks like. How often do you do live streams? Every Sunday, starting at 6 on Twitch and YouTube. Pip the Jack Russell. What are we voting on? Very quickly then. So people have submitted their designs. Where's it gone? Redesigning the letter B in the alphabet 10 P's. Um, they were the first ones. We've got Big Ben, Britannia, uh, Bangers and Mash, I think that is. B for Brew, Bentley, Banknotes, Boris. Oh, that is Bangers and Mash, number eight. Bowie, Bourbons, Bee Gees, Bangers and Mash again, I think. Uh, Big Ben, BBC. We then have... Ooh, change. B for Bert and Trapdoor. B for Birthday Cake. Buckingham Palace. Billy, Co Billy Connolly. British Airways. BBC. Uh, ooh, come back. Uh, Beethoven. Banksy. Beef Eater. B. Bumblebee. Uh, Black Belt Bob. Bungle. And the BBC again. Um, and then finally... Where's it gone? Oh, I can't find the last last page. Where's it gone? Hmm. I've lost the last page. Let me just add that back in again. Uh, image. Da 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 da. da. Number three. There we go. Oh, I've disappeared now. There we go. Uh, we've got Bernardo's, British Gas, Jeremy Bullock in the Boba Fett suit, Bowie and Bungle. And then his last two, unfortunately, I'd already, I, I forgot to put them onto the list whilst we had the, um, the uh, voting system being put into place. So it's Bacon Butty and... Great British Bake Off. So they've all got numbers. We will return to those screenshots in the next break. And there is a link to go and vote for your favourite. No one entered the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees are there. Someone, picked, someone did design the Bee Gees. But next week, we're redesigning C, which is currently for cricket. So if you make get your design, send it to one of my social medias. I'll include it in the vote, and the winner will win a prize from me. And if you design, if your design is the same as the design I make, instant prize for you as well. Have you ever got a cow pay house ten I think so. Like I said, we'll return to those screen, that screenshot after this big bag of coins to get through. Whilst I go wash my hands. How and when will the winners be announced? At the end of the stream. But whichever one's got the most votes at the end of the live stream will be declared winner. Whoops. Oh dear, where's that gone? Chucking them everywhere. Oh, butterfingers. It said it's on a two pound coin. Said what on two pound coin? Or Calpe House? Why don't my hands get black when I search through coins? You must have clean coins to look through. Because coins are filthy. I know anyone that, that's worked in retail previously, like I have, would know how dirty coins can be.
Right. Uh, and they win the entire Christopher collects collection of coins. Not quite, no. <laughs> Not the case, going big. Can I add wedge to the prize? No. I'm not giving my cat away. What do they win? Hey, you have to win to find out. You'll have to win to find out. Kitty Jones used to work in a cash office. Hands were filthy. Are you doing any other giveaways at the moment? Yes, in fact, I have got these sealed bags of HMS, not HMS, but the Navy Centenary and Great Fires of London. I've got five bags of them. Uh, that is a current giveaway video that went up last week, I think, last Tuesday. Am I looking for errors? Uh, if I spot one as I'm going through, then yes, I pull them out. But I won't be going in a f over on a f in a with a fine tooth comb all of these designs because generally the error ones you'll find are like cud errors, just a little bit of extra metal on it, which um, aren't massively of interest to myself unless I spot them. There's also the Mule Ten P, but I spent a long time hunting through them at the dates and never found anything. Would love to give you a giveaway as it will help me with my coin collection. I think there's a lot of people in that boat. A lot of people would like to win that. I've had a lot of entries so far. Is an IRB 10p worth anything? I don't think so. Brilliant giveaway. Hope I win, but good luck to everyone, says Ruby. When's the next 1P world record video going up? Uh, there wasn't one for this month because I couldn't get it all organised and sorted, but I've got a bit of a. I've got a. a um, for the last two months going up at the start of June. So stay tuned for the start of June. To win that £2 coin, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like the video and leave a comment. Deadline is mid-June. 20th, isn't it? 20th? I think 20th of June is the deadline for entering and it's going to be drawn on the 21st. If I remember correctly, all the details are in the description though. You flipping coins is weirdly satisfying, is it? <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Definitely a nay. Pineapple should not be eaten warm. In my humble opinion, if you enjoy pineapple on your pizza, you can crack on with it. But I w you will not persuade me to eat pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on pizza is the devil's creation. You no longer have a flotilla of boats, you have an armada. Agreed. <laughs> I've got a fair few of them now. Uh, Max found a coin from Poland with an error on it. Very cool. Robert Roberts likes cheesecake. Very good. I love cheesecake. One of my favourite desserts, cheesecake. That's a lemon tart. Oh, 
I'm salivating at the thought of having lemon tart. Britain's got talent, yeah or nay? Nay. The only thing that was worth watching that for were for the acts that were absolutely awful. And I did watch an episode of it a few weeks ago. And the focus seems to be on the on the good actor rather than the bad act now. I don't know, maybe it's the, in this world of anti-bullying we live in that you don't want to be featuring people doing awful performances and then being ripped apart. Which I kind of get. But not fee pie the best. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not even close. Nicholas having cheesecake for pudding. Oh, what type of cheesecake? Alata Agent Hull. Oreo truffles. Oh, that does sound good. I made an Oreo cheesecake once and that was absolutely wonderful. Speaking of absolutely wonderful, we have got a Guernsey 10p in 1992. Very cool. We have found two more coins in this bag than we did in the first one, which is good going. A welcome reprieve from the diddlies that we found in the first bag. Coin 101 hopes loves cheesecake could eat a whole one. You and me both. Competitive cheese eating. That's my that's my next uh, profession. Cheesecake's the best. Like pasties, Josiah. Don't change them. What? <laughs> Depends what stage of the competition you watch. I think the rubbish acts are only at the start. Oh, I see. But no, there's, there, there seems to be too many of those sort of talent shows and a great British insert hobby. The great British bake off the great British slow off the great British painter, the great British dancer, the great British nose picker, the great British underwater badminton hockey player. Um, I think there's a bit of a saturated market at the moment. Are you scared of rocks? Not particularly, unless uh, they are the flying at the head variety. I have two very different hobbies, coins and makeup artistry. Oh, awesome. Must admit, I've absolutely no experience with makeup artistry. I've seen like the little clips and videos of people doing it on Facebook and what they can do is phenomenal, to be fair. Great <laughs> British coin picker. I saw someone on YouTube yesterday making Marmite Roast Potatoes. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. I don't really like Marmite, but I like Twiglets. Maybe a little hint of Marmite on a roast potato would be nice. Great British, Great British Coin Tuber. Now, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? If they ever need a judge for that, they have but to email me. <laughs> Teague Bernice has an Instagram account. Make up by Teague Bernice. Awesome. Notice no great British coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dear. Oh, coin pig getting me in trouble. Coin pig, coin pig, coin pig. What, what are we going to do with you? Uh, T, but this is a visually impaired makeup person. Wow. Very cool. Well, you've seen my artistry skills with my. Um, Whoops, my B for Brian May. That is about as artistic as I get. Marmite peanut butter mixed. Oh dear. No, 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 no. I love peanut butter. I wouldn't put Marmite in it. Mackenzie's been making sauerkraut. That's what, pickled, pickled cabbage sauerkraut? That's for lecker. That's why Nicht lecker, more like. <laughs> Marmite and sharp cheese sandwiches are great. Mm. The problem with Marmite is very, very salty, and I don't like salt.
is the towel blue now no more red uh, I have the wonderful um, color changing uh, towel that was given to me by the lovely lady M of bungle collects coins um, she said that it was the orange towel at the time she said it's had its day Christopher now is the time to start using this and it changes colors dependent on her mood so it's a it's a blue at the moment so bungles in trouble but it does turn purple from time to time do I like pickled eggs yeah I don't mind pickled eggs but I wouldn't eat uh, a bucket of them what's the most beautiful coin Frankenstein two pound coin in silver proof it's a stunner absolute stunner that shadow without my favorite coin what's everyone else's absolute favorite coin then how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck looked like me <laughs> dearie me who knows oh short coins there Stephen Hawkins says Darren Cheshire. It's another very cool design. I really like that one too. Florence Nightingale says Stacey Lee. Agreed. Did you miss any 50ps? We've got one more bag of 50ps to get through. We found Gobble though. Loch Ness Monster says Defo Not Scottish Ryan. Point that Master Temple makes uh, his favourite. Well done. They are stunning, aren't they? Carrot collects. Uh, what was that question? Favourite subject in school? Business studies. It was a, it was a subject as that sort of age I was interested in, but I was very lucky. I had a very awe-inspiring teacher. He was a fantastic teacher, um, that really made the subject come to life. And then I was very lucky. So then continue in college and then university to have some fantastic um, teachers. I mean, it, it helps if you're interested in the subject, but having an inspirational teacher as well really does help. Trinity House's Ruby Davies. Did I do two pound coins tonight? I didn't. I couldn't get any two pound coins this week, sadly, but maybe next week. I haven't found any alphabet 10ps yet. We're still hunting the first one. We've only got two bags of 10ps left. Goodness gracious. Imagine if coins were triangle shaped. Ouch. There was. Um, do I smock? No. Um, there is a country with triangular coins. Laughter was. I'm sure it was Laughter was telling me about them. Was it Bermuda? Was it Bermuda? I forget now. India. Indian, really? Uh, I forget if I've mentioned it, if, if I've already told you, my memory is pretty appalling. Business wasn't even a thing at our school unless you clowned farming, says Coinpick. Bermuda have some, yes. Was that right? King George the Sixth, three pence is is Sadman's favourite. Favourite decimal coin is Ironside fifty p. Are you going to wash your hands from touching money? One hundred percent. I have already washed my hands twice throughout the hunt. I will wash them after this bag before returning for the last bag. And yes, I will wash my hands after that because coins are filthy. I think Jersey has done some triangle coins in the past. Have you ever been to Estonia or Finland? I have not, no. Right, this is the last bag of 10 Ps. We're gonna to need to dig deep and find one of these alphabets. Coin 101's hope favorite coin is Brexit because it's his birthday. Very cool. The Brexit coin, again, although it's pretty boring design, in my in my humble opinion, 
It's a special coin to me because the Brexit strike on the day event was pretty fun. It was so much fun going down and seeing everyone again. There's eight pages of triangular coins on New Mister. Really? Wow. Most are commemorative, not intended for circulation. Have you ever been to Tunisia? I have. I've been twice. I was there last year. <laughs> Fantastic country. Love it. Nice and warm. Couldn't recommend it anymore. There we go. We're done. Do you have a summer holiday plan this year? Uh, no, I, the hope was to go to Egypt this year, but uh, with what's going on, I don't think that's going to happen this year. Maybe next year, though. There are finds, though. We've got a Gibraltar in the Great Siege, and we've got a Guernsey Tomatoes. So not a total bust, but unfortunately not what we were really hoping for. We will cut back for the last time of the live stream. The gallery of 10p letter B redesigns. They're all numbered. There will be links in the... Dis in the um, excuse me. There'll be links down in the chat that I'm sure the moderators will post. You can go and vote for your favourite. The favourite redesign uh, will win a prize from me. Um, and then next week we're redesigning the letter C. So if you get your uh, redesigns into me before next weekend, I'll pop it up on here and you can win a prize next week. If, you des if your design is the same design I make, you win a prize instantly, um, as well as the winner of that week. You didn't see any of it. You sat by the pool for a week. <laughs> I went wandering a little bit, but majority of my holiday, I was sat by the beach or the pool doing nothing. Um, I needed a bit. I needed that kind of holiday, though. <laughs> but no, right. I should be back in a moment. Get your votes in quick. This is your last chance to vote.
And we're back. Have you all got your votes in? Let's have a quick look. Ooh, interesting stuff on the votes. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. So you haven't already voted? This is the last time you're going to see these up. Number 30 is doing well. Well, A for Absolute Coins came fourth last week. So Bungle has got fourth or better to beat. <laughs> Number 33 is Bungle. Oh, he is in fourth, isn't he? Wow, we. Or joint, or joint third. Oh, he'll be tough to beat Absolute Coins, so he will. <laughs> Not that our Bungle is competitive, of course. <laughs> Hello Ben, thanks for tuning back in. But no, some awesome, awesome designs. Really good. What one's my favourite? I'm not gonna pick a favourite, I think that's a bit cruel for me to pick a favourite. I have voted. I have to vote to see the scores, so I voted for one that I liked, but I won't say which one. Have I ever been to Lyme Regis? I have not, no. Bogner Regis I have. I've got relatives in Bogner. Who won last week? Amber Wakeling won with uh, A4 Abbey Road. Can you still go out and see Star Wars set in Tunisia? I believe so. To be fair, I was I was planning on doing it, but it was a five-hour coach journey. I thought, you know what, I'm here for a week. If I was here for longer, I'd, I'd dedicate a day to doing that, but uh, I didn't that time. I had been there before, though, when I was younger. What's number 15? Um, B for Bert in Trapdoor. Yes, I totally agree with Judith there. Some very, very talented people there. Coin 101 Hope has family in Bognor Regis as well. In fact, Bognor Regis was the first long drive I ever did. I went with my mum when I was still a learner driver because uh, it's a relative of, of hers that's out that lives out that way. And... Um, it was, the, as I said, the first long-distance journey I ever did. I drove her car. She was driving... In, uh, an old, older shape Ford Focus at the time, and um, it didn't it didn't start well. We had to go get petrol. I got in the wrong queue for petrol. She went ballistic, had a go at me. Not a good start. Um, the rest of the drive there was was uneventful until we started to drive back, and I saw along my left hand side a pheasant running at the same speed as the car was going. It wasn't we weren't going massively fast, probably about forty miles an hour, but there was cars in front of me, cars behind me, and cars zipping past next to me, so there's nothing I could do. And all of a sudden it started veering towards me. And my mum was sat in the car going, pheasant, 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 pheasant. And went, boom, pheasant. But um, in that situation, there's nothing you can do. You can't cause an accident to avoid hitting a pheasant, unfortunately. Um, and then I had some locals driving right up behind me. Uh, so I, I slammed on my brakes a couple of times and they got the idea that I wasn't going to speed up just because they're lunatics. I had my L plates on and everything. But no, that's the last time I went to Bogner when I was still a learner driver, which is <laughs> a fair while ago. But anyway, I'm prattling on. Let's get into the last bag then. Now try having a black box. Oh, you wouldn't catch me with a black box. No way. <laughs> the thing is, I've heard so many stories about black boxes, so... Um, my brother's friends, he's a bit younger than me, when well, they've just passed their test getting a black box and then being fined for breaking sharply because they've, they've only broke, had to break sharply because someone's pulled out in front of them. 
Can we submit more than one design? You can, but only one of them will be picked. You can either pick them, or I will pick my the, my favourite of the ones that you submit if you submit more than one. Used to visit a lot, not been there for five years. When was I learning to drive? That was 2011. So, nine years ago. Wow, that's insane. Absolutely insane. It might have been a bit more, because I was learning 2000, end of 2010, 11. What manoeuvres did I do in my test? We had to do three manoeuvres. I did parallel park, which I was surprisingly good at. And then totally forgot how to do it. <laughs> Until a few years ago when I moved to somewhere where it was on street parking. So I had to relearn <coughs> parallel parking. And this is before the days of um, parking sensors. Now my new car has parking sensors. Oh man, it's a lifesaver. Uh, but parallel park, three point turn and um, reverse bay park I had to do. Because when I was when I started learning, it was quite. They just they'd not long introduced the whole hazard perception test on the practical on your theory, um, and the following directions for like a sat nav. That was thought they were all quite new parts to the driving lesson, driving test. I passed first time. I had eleven minors. You're allowed fifteen before it's a, before it's a fail, but I had no majors, so just about passed. My instructor said that was the most minors that any of his students has ever had and still passed so there's that <laughs> by the skin of my teeth i managed to pass what car do i drive i got a bmw z4 i bought it last year because sadly my lovely focus got written off or well, caledonian coins knows the story he was in the car at the time <laughs> someone crashed into the back of me it wasn't a major accident it was just cost to repairs in the age of the vehicle it got written off we've got battle of britain so battle of britain and battle of britain alone with the 50 p's you can find two initials on the obverse, the side with the Queen's head. IRB, which stands for Ian Rank Broadly, which was only put into the collector's set, not intended for circulation. And JC, Jodie Clark, uh, the portrait of the Queen that Jodie Clark did, was released into circulation. I have never found an IRB Battle of Britain. Now, this is a nice shiny one, so who knows if that's a good indication that this could be one that was not circulated originally. Uh, let's see if we can do the first, make a first and find an IRB Battle of Britain. Uh... That is, as you can see there, a JC. Unfortunately, not the IRB Battle of Britain. The hunt for the IRB Battle of Britain continues. One of these days, though, we will find it. We will find it. I don't think any of the coin tubers have found one yet in a hunt. Which just goes to show how, how unlikely it is to find them. What's a Q worth at the moment? Not 100% sure. I haven't had to look at the values of it for a while. But they're up to about £125, I saw, when I last looked. Victoria across the Meadows there, another very common one. I did emergency stop, parallel park, and I think that was it. Passed in December, but I can't even remember what else I did. I see. I did the, had to do the emergency stop as well. I hated doing that. Absolutely hated doing that. Representation of the People Act, another common one. And speaking of common, Peter Rabbit from 2017, you find them by the bucket load. Peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. I've just joined the stream. I've started a YouTube channel. Can I have a plug, please, from Dylan? Snazzy jacket, thank you very much. <laughs> These dodgy shirts are becoming a bit of a regular occurrence on the live streams. It just popped up, I think it was on Instagram, just the adverts for it popped up, and I thought, that is horrific, I've got to have it. <laughs> Lighty Collects paid £35 for his queue. Holy Toledo, that is a deal. Paddington at the magnanimity, Team Tower, Team Tower. You heard it here first. Loud and proud, Team Tower. Amber told me not to buy the shirt. And I think a lot of people on Discord told me not to buy the shirt, but I couldn't help myself. I could not help myself. 
Uh, James E. B. Hoy passed and ended up dating his examiner. Well, there's one way to pass. <laughs> that is one way to pass. Right then, shall we do an edge hunt? So call out your number and we'll see who finds something. Just a bit of fun, just to mix it up a little bit. If I haven't already called out your number for a previous bag, try and let someone else have a chance. Ben says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Ben has found Paddington at the Cathedral. Well done. Rex and Relum says 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 is a shield. Paul McQueen says 5, 2, 4, 5 is a shield. Adam Boots says 6, 2, 4, 6 is a shield. And I saw Coins and More UK said 7, which is another shield. Uh, Lighty Collect says 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 is a shield. Gollum Guy says 15, which will be the last one now, which is a pretty scuffed up shield. Denise Haynes says 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 is a Britannia. And Laughter said 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Back to the front, 14, 15 is a shield. Uh, Sad Man 2K says number 3, which is a Britannia. Uh, Tim of Stress is 82. Uh, I don't think so, Dan. <laughs> Quinn Pick says, I passed my instructor while he was dating in my new car. Very good. Uh, Connor says 5, 2, 4, 5 is Britannia. Stacey Lou says number 2, Shield. Le uh, Leah says five two four five is a shield. Nicholas says thirteen. Goodness gracious, two four six seven eight ten twelve thirteen is a shield. Rob, Rob says three hundred. Uh, one two three hundred. No, so that'd be one hundred two hundred. I reckon this is, would be the three hundredth coin. That's a Britannia. Nash says four two four is a Britannia. You've got four coins left. Uh, you're a poet and you don't know it. Am I really? <laughs> Gollum guy says number three, Britannia. Cheryl Marsden says five two, three four five would be Britannia. We've got two left. Who wants number one? Who wants number two? Stacey Lou's daughter said number three, so two, and then back to the front will be three, Britannia, leaving us with the Britannia. <clears throat> so points to whoever it was that found the Paddington at the cathedral. Points as ever redeemable by ripping off the top of your television set and posting it to Bungle, Bungle Collects Coins P.O. Box. One of these do we, one of these weeks someone's going to do that. And Bongo's going to be very cross with me. <laughs> oh, I'll put them all the wrong way around over here. Whoopsie. Sort that later. We might do that for one more bag before we finish, because this is the last bag of the hunt. What do you have found so far? Uh, Brexit, Paddington the Cathedral, 2017 Peter Rabbit, Battle of Britain, Victoria Across the Medals, and Representation of the People Act in this bag. The live stream is available on Catch Up. If you want to watch it whilst eating Catch Up, you can watch the Catch Up. It'll go. It'll probably load up live after at some point after the live stream. We've got Peter Rabbit. But if you're watching on Catch Up. Leave a comment, catch up, and we'll know that you're watching on catch up. Let's get those voting links going. Again, again, again. Um, in a couple of bags time, we'll do it again. Oh, Paddington at the Cathedral again. Go Team Tower. Go Team Tower. Sunday roast chicken gang. <laughs> Nash 
is pronounced Neshe. Ah, Neshe. I will try and remember that. You should order a bunch of £10 Kew Gardens off eBay. Some might be real. <laughs> I think the chances of that are pretty slim to none, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. Must have been the light caught that funny. I thought it was a bit missing from that coin. Connor says, I love your videos. Thank you very much. Christopher, did you get a letter from Harry saying thank you for one of your replies because it was me? Um, I have actually on my shelf a whole bunch of P.O. Box stuff that it might be in. So stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. I haven't got a slot available for the P.O. Box for uh, this coming week. At least I don't think I will. But potentially the week after. So, so stay tuned for that. GSA Wolf Coins is offski. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Jamesy e. Beerhoy says, I figured out a unicorn vomited on you on your way home today, Christopher. <laughs> the Beerhoy is not a fan of the shirt. Seem to have gotten confused. I thought I had gammon to go with my pineapple, but I have pasta instead. Pasta pineapple. Uh, do you collect many, if any, pre-decimal coins? I will collect any coins I can lay my hands on. Whether they're world coins, pre-decimal coins, circulating coins, coins not intended for circulation. If it's got a denomination on it, there's a place in my collection for it. We've got Victoria Cross, Heroic Acts. Hello, uh, fish, fish one son. Come on, behave. CEO of spelling here as here, huh? Have you been to the Roman Baths in Bath? They have a section of coins there. I haven't actually. I have not. Oh, Victoria Cross, heroic act, heroic acts again. Put my teeth back in and try again. We've got Benjamin Binney. Our first Benjamin Binney of the hunt. He's not a Bunga one. He's not a Christopher Collects one. Have you thought about getting a proof set from the year you were born? I have a proof set from the year I was born. My, I think my dad bought it for me. Years and years ago. Are you going to do a sneaky peek at the last bag? Old times. Oh, of course. <laughs> I completely forgot we used to do that. <laughs> when did I stop doing that? Are you going to make a video about values of 50 and two pounds? It's been something that I've thought about doing. I just never got around to doing it. To be fair, there are so many other of the coin tubers that have done that kind of video. Um, it's seeing what, what more could I add to that style of video that hasn't already been said eight bazillion times. We got another dictionary one there. First of this bag, but not our first one of the night. I bought some replicas in the gift shop, but they have displays of coins with the first use of Britannia. Very cool. Who's the fastest coin flipper in the West? There we go. There's Bungle. 
Oh, Lord of the Lood, Bungle himself. He likes the shirt as well. Thank you very much, Bungle. <laughs> Hello, Christopher. I came across my first Britannia 2008 50p in my change. Well done, Wendy. That's awesome. I hope you're well, Bungle. Having a good bank holiday weekend. Fingers crossed we will find something really cool. We found an Olympic very early on in the first bag of 50ps. I'm hopeful that we'll find another one. <laughs> All is good in Bungaland, that's what we like to hear. There's another Benjamin Bunny. Why do I vape? Because um, I'm addicted to nicotine, unfortunately. Does the towel really change colour or was that a joke? It does. Let me... I need something to demonstrate. So, hold on. It is purple. And then over time it will change blue. It depends what mood Lady M from Bungle Collects Coins is in. She's in a good mood at the moment. My nan found a Paddington and she gave me a gift for me and lucky me I did not have it. Then I gave to my sister because she really wanted sharing my coins. Awesome. But as ever, I'll be over on my Discord server in the voice chat after the after the live stream, hunting through the coins off to the side looking for the key dates. I will post uh, on my variety of social medias what I found. So stay tuned for that. We normally find a fair few. Favourite monarch to appear on the on a coin? George. George? The Queen's dad. I can't remember. I always get my I always get the names mixed up. George the Sixth? Is he George the Sixth? Or is he Edward? I think he was George. I don't know. Can't remember. It's too hot. <laughs> my brain is melting. It wasn't Edward. It was George George the Sixth. When are we finished? We've got about five or six bags left to go and then we are donezo, complete so donezo. Pad uh, tower versus Cathedral says laughter. It's got to be Team Tower. It's got to be Team Tower. You know it. You all know it. Even Bungle knows it. Georgia Six says Bungle. Bungle knows. Right then, shall we do one last edge hunt, edge hunt bag? What's your favourite British biscuit? Oh, bourbons, custard creams, I'm not fussy, hobnobs. This isn't the last bag, but this is the last one we'll do as the edge hunt. 16 says Ben, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 is Britannia. Retsum says 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, shield. Uh... Mackenzie says number two. Number two is a shield. Someone whose name is Symbols says number six. Two, four, six is a Britannia. Coin Hope says seven. Two, four, six, seven is a Britannia. Kevin says eight. Two, four, six, eight. Britannia. Nashe says four. Two, four is shield. Max says eight, two, four, six, eight. Oop. Over on Twitter, we've got fish says number two. Number two is Britannia. Oh, I had these all in order and I've mixed, mixed them all up. Uh, Stacey Lee says seven, two, four, six, seven. Britannia. The Bee Hoy says seven, two, four, six, seven. I think I just saw something as well. Is a shield. 
Tia Watts says 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Here's a shield. Number 5, 2, 4, 5. Here's a shield. Um, who haven't we had? The what? Uh, uh, Raymond Edgar says 7, 2, 4, 6, 7. Here's a Britannia. Flash says number three, one, two, three, nice and easy, is a Britannia. Uh, T Benny says five, two, four, five, is a Britannia. Um, Sadman 2K says the bottom one, Britannia. Number two says Sam Miles, Britannia. We've got two left, number one and number two, whoops, <laughs> just in. What number one is Lauren Holliday says number one and leaves us with a shield for number two so obviously I didn't see something <laughs> in the heat of this summer day under these bright spotlights it was a mirage but there we go this is super fun. Can we keep doing that? I think the moderator's heads would explode if we did that, did that on every bag. Oh, there we go. We've got a cathedral. That is four cathedrals, no towers. Five cathedrals, no towers. Go on. A few more, a few more cathedrals, a few more cathedrals. Tom Kitten from 2017. We're just missing Jeremy Fisher then. Six cathedrals, no towers. What am I drinking? Uh, lemon squash. Of course. <laughs> There's laughter with all those cathedrals. Thought it was a dictionary. Was the mirage of a queue? No, I thought I saw Olympic uh, canoeing. Whoops. That's not a mirage, though. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. More pepperonis. And that's it for that bag. Team Cathedral. No, Harrison. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen. Team Tower. Lemon Squash. Always thought that was a ball game. Very good, Kurt. Very good. Favourite coin? Frankenstein £2 coin. 50p though, Isaac Newton. Whoops. We've got three bags after this and we're all done for the night. We will find out who has won the... Letter B redesign competition, though. It was tight at the top when we last looked. Janet Smith says, Team Tower, sorry, Bungle. <laughs> Favourite pre decimal coin? Uh, I like sixpences. I think they're really cool. Am I going to go live tomorrow? Nope, but I will have a video up tomorrow, a usual time. Penultimate bag of the hunt. Team No Hope for Cathedral. <laughs> no. No Hope is reserved solely for Sherlock. Right. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? There we go. There's the one you want to see. Paddington at the Tower. Lovely. And there are some more pepperonis for your viewing pleasure. There's a nice one coming up. Battle of Hastings. A little bit over the face value. Nice coin to find. 
No 2020 shields in circulation yet. I haven't spotted any either yet. So I feel that that's going to be another NIFC year to look out for. Well, last chance. We'll have a sneaky peek. As Master Temple likes. Anyone spot anything? Anyone spot anything? I don't. Oops. All of a sudden, we're onto the last bag, exactly. <laughs> but for those of you that watched this far into the video, if you're watching on Catch Up With Your Ketchup or you're watching live, you've tuned in for this bit or the whole live stream, a massive thank you. I love doing the live streams, they're such good fun. More pepperonis for you. Um, you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or there's the Discord server if you're over the age of 13. That's Discord's rules, not my rules. That was Bonjour and Binny. Hang about. Hang about. Could it be? Could it be? What do we think? What do we think? Think I should let a B pitch skin. Oh, I will do. Don't worry about that, Robert Roberts. Could it be? We've got a chance here. We've got a chance here on the last bag. <laughs> It's not gonna. I think we've got ourselves another Commonwealth. We've got ourselves a Commonwealth Games, but we live in hope that it could it could happen. The first time for me on a live stream. Let's have a look. Ah, Commonwealth Games. Close, but no cigar. A bit of excitement to end the live stream. Public libraries there. Very very common. And there we go. We are donezo. Complete so donezo. But it's been great fun as ever, as it always is every week doing this. Um, we will now hop over to the designs. Everyone and their alphabet letter B redesigns. So it should actually let's, let's not have it cycling through. Oh, it's not cycling through. So, we was through the different designs that were submitted. We had B for Big Ben. We had B for Britannia. B for Bangers and Mash. B for Brew. B for Bentley. Uh, Banknotes is number six. Number seven is Boris. Number eight is Bangers and Mash. Number nine is Bowie. We've got Bourbon in number 10. 11 is Bee Gees. Uh, number 12 is Bangers and Mash, I think. Uh, B for Big Ben again for 13. BBC for number 14. 15 is Bert from Trapdoor. B for Bert. Then we got B for Birthday Cake, Buckingham Palace, Billy Connolly and British Airways. The next row, starting with number 20, is the BBC, uh, Britain. Then number 22 is Beethoven. And 23 is Banksy. Uh, 24 is Be uh, Be uh, Beef Eater, uh, Bumblebee, Black Belt Bob. Then number 27, we have Bungle. I'm going to make a note of that because we've got to, see, we've got to see where Bungle comes in the rankings. Number 27 is Bungle. Uh, 28 is BBC again, which leaves us one more page. Not that page. Not that page. That page. We've got Barnardo's British Gas, uh, Bullock, Jeremy Bullock, the man inside the Boba Fett suit for 31. 32 is Bowie and 33 is also Bungle. So, can we have a drum roll, please, then, whilst we get up the scores, the final scores. So, should we go one, two, three, four. In joint fifth place, we have number 21, which is B for Britain. Uh, we also have number 20, which is the BBC. And we also have number 18, which is Billy Connolly. All three in at six votes apiece. Joint fifth place. In fourth place, we have number 13, which is uh, Big Ben. Which leaves us in third place. Number three. <laughs> I can't get to change the right screen now. Come on. 
in third place we have Bungle, <laughs> number 33 with 8 votes. We then jump up into second place. Uh, where's it gone? 20, mm, 23 is Banksy, which means for the second week in a row, the one, the only, Amber Wakeling has won with B for Bowie, number 32 with 29 votes. So <laughs> a big round of applause again to Amber. She's got some skills. She has got some skills. So a big well done to Amber for being this week's winner with B for Bowie just below. For those that didn't see, I did B for Brian May. If I put that there, it looks like it's one of the designs in the thing there. That is my pitiful attempt. <laughs> But a big well done to you all and a big thank you to everyone that has been so kind as to um, submit these awesome designs. It was it was great fun looking through them all uh, throughout the week. Um, so get your designs in for C, redesigning C for cricket for next week. Um, why is he naked? Shut up, Monty. <laughs> I'm going to get working on my letter C uh, at the end of the live stream. Uh, what we're going to do then is end the Twitch one by raiding someone. Man, is it hot. I am burning up. Right. Oh, goodness. How do I... F I can always, every week I forget how to do this. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. You might get a bit of echo because I've accidentally clicked on the live stream rather than this. Oh. Uh, ba 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 Why are they making this so hard? Bill Gates, I am not, unfortunately. There we go, I found it. We have found it. We're going to go in homage to Master Temple who I wear this shirt in homage to. We're going to go over to Bob Ross on Twitch. So, who is still over on Twitch? I see Amber Wakeling. I see Ben Enna. I see Amber Wakeling again. <laughs> Mark Ade, Retzim, Relin, Teague, Benny, Sadman, 2K, Fish, I, Fish One, Sun, uh, Harry Toth, uh, The Beehoy, Sadman, 2K. I'm sure Lynn Mills... I don't know, Lynn Mills had to go to walk Aussie. The, the, oh, no, Lynn Mills is still there. Who was it that had to go walk the dog? I forget now. But anyway, a massive thank you to those of you that have watched. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time for more coins. Goodbye. Oh, I haven't pressed the button. Uh. <laughs> You've got another few seconds, because something went wrong. Something went wrong. Start the raid. Come on. Something went wrong. Try running that quick, quick action again later. Ay ay ay. It's all going horribly, horribly wrong. Start raid. Oh, it went wrong again. Uh-oh. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Try once more. No, it didn't like that. Right, we're not going to Bob Ross. It's not having it. Oh, we can't even do that. Uh, pfft, well. This is a mystery. Let's try... Oh, it's working now. I just refreshed it and it seems to be working. Nope. There we go. It's working. We're not going to Bob Ross. I can't get it to go over to Bob Ross. We're going over to Cooking with Kate. <laughs> so a big thank you for those of you that watched over on Twitch. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Goodbye. Which leads us over to the guys on YouTube. I see Keith Elric. I see Nasha. Uh, this not Nasha. Nasha. Laughter. Monty. Shuey. Oh eight. Coins and more. UK. Bungle collects coins. Coin pig. Janet Smith. Laughter. Monty. Amber Wakeling. Kevin Trelaw. 
uh, Kurt Koenig, J Janet Smith, Coin101 Hope, uh, Courtney Ellis, Tia Watts, Tez Hall, Wendy Fletcher, Cheryl Marsden, Darren Cheshire, uh, Sean Payne, Nicola Jackson, Mackenzie, Tia Watts, Toby Knight, Connor, uh, Katie Jones. A big thank you to the moderators as well. If I can all ask you one last favour, we'll, instead of, we, we, blah, 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 we raid channels over on Twitch. We can't raid them on YouTube. But if I post a link in the comments, could you all head on over here and leave a holy Toledo in the comment section? And if you're feeling generous, feel free to subscribe. It's a newcomer. It's a newcomer. There we go. So head on over. Leave a holy Toledo for me. That way this person knows that is uh, that you guys will come over to say holy Toledo from the live stream. Uh, leave a, a subscribe if you're feeling generous. And also oh, like the video. Like that video too. But a massive thank you to you all. Uh, Kevin and Denise and HMS Belfast and Coin101 Hope, Snapdragon, Nicola Jackson, Grossy Coin Hunt, Coins and More UK. Chris, you better be posting my the link I post, not just your own link. Cheeky. Um, a big thank you for watching. I'll see some of you over on Discord momentarily. And I'll uh, blah, 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 blah. see you next time for more coins. Bye.